Hey everybody, it's July and it's been crazy here for the Wilsons, but it's been a great month so far. So it's just been a little busy, but that's how we like it. We like to stay busy and we like to see the Lord continuing to move in that. Uh, so we just wanted to say thank you to all our supporters. Everybody who's committed to pray for us and everybody who's committed to love on us through that way and uh, financially and all those other ways. We just thank you for that. Uh, we wanted to give you all a little update, let you guys know how church planning is going, let you guys know how relationship building is going and apartment ministry and all that fun stuff. So we'll start from the beginning. So July 1st was a great day. Uh, we were able to have a cookout here at the apartment complex. And this was so great because we had a small group from Impact, uh, the church that we're a part of, come and basically provide everything for us about 20 people showed up and they brought all the food and they served all the food and they cooked all the food and it was just amazing i'm thankful for them and their willingness to serve us in that way because it allowed me to kind of just roam and to kind of build relationships with the 60 or 70 people that showed up and just uh really start to be intentional with them uh i got to know a lot of people got to know a lot of men who we've invited and are hoping comes to our uh, small group that we have down by the pool on thursday nights so we had our first one of those, which went really, really great, uh, where we've targeted a few guys that we're just going to continue to to focus on and uh, continue to invite and continue to build up a good relationship with. So the cookout allowed us to do that, uh, and it was just a great opportunity, and people really just responded well. We were able to build relationships, but the cool thing that was happening is that people were building relationships with other people inside the apartment complex which was awesome and which is really good for the apartment because as we see statistics show us that when people start to build friendships in apartments they stay longer so that's going to go really really a long way with our apartment manager so we're excited about that <clears throat> uh... the apartment manager i've been able to build a good relationship with her and we've just uh... been talking a lot and she's going to allow us to do some really cool stuff here at the apartment uh... such as make some baskets with church information and give those to people who move in also to do maybe some lease renewals, things like that, and she's asked us to do another cookout at the end of the summer. So it's just really cool how God is blossoming that and how he's working in that. So we're excited about that. We're excited to continue to build relationships in our apartment community and uh, just see where God takes that. And like I said, we started a Bible study on Thursday nights at 6, and that's just a men's Bible study. Me and Taylor are doing that. Uh, we have a guy named Ryan who we're super excited about who will just continue to build a relationship with, a guy named Brad and another guy named Ryan, who we're just really intentionally looking for and really praying for that will continue to just become a part of us. So we're excited about them. Uh, that's about it for apartment ministry. That's a lot, though, in a little bit. So it's amazing how God is kind of blessing that. Uh, church planning is going awesome also. So we are going to uh, be working with Impact Community Church in Duncan, and we're going to plant an Impact Community Church in Spartanburg. So we're working on plans for that. We're building up a small group, and uh, we're just seeing God move in some crazy ways. So we have about um, six people right now who are really praying for who would join our team and who are really thinking about joining our team and praying about joining our team. So we're really excited for them and really excited that they would just um, come aboard and be with us. Uh, so we're just kind of seeing where the Lord takes that. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But if it does, it'll be awesome. So the Lord will bless us in that way. We'll be really thankful for that. But if he does it, we know that he has other people who will continue to just join us as we seek to reach Spartanburg. So God is just moving in some cool ways there. We were in Ohio uh, two weeks ago. And we were able to preach at Bridgeway Moscow, and it was just a cool opportunity for us to be in a church plant that's fairly new, about nine months old, and just be with people who um, really, you could tell, just loved being there and really wanted and were desiring to know God more. So I was able to preach there, and I believe the Lord moved in some hearts in a big way. Uh, we were able to see response, and we were able to see people challenged, so we were excited about that. And Bridgeway Moscow is going to be one of our supporting churches now, so it was just a blessing for us to be able to be with them and just to be able to see the Lord move in Moscow uh, which is a really small town in New Richmond Ohio so we were super excited about that uh, then in September we're gonna be back for two weeks doing some preaching and things like that but this week uh, in South Carolina 
I was able to preach at Southside Baptist Church on Wednesday morning and Wednesday night, and we really seen some awesome opportunity there. We seen people who uh, just really wanted to love on us and support us, so we were super excited for them and to be able to be there. And uh, Southside is actually the church that we attended when we lived in South Carolina the first time, and. Uh, did an internship there and everything so it was just cool to kind of be back with those people who loved on us and we're seeing relationships being built there and hoping that God just continues to further those so the Lord has been blowing our minds all month uh, like I said it's only like the 21st but God has just been moving in some crazy ways and uh, really just preparing us for all that's ahead we've been able to serve our community a lot uh, we took some donuts to Vital Credit Union and uh, just loved on some people working at the credit union, which was really cool. And to see their faces and see how thankful they were. Uh, we've been able to love on people at Bell Latte, which is a local coffee shop that I hang out at a lot. And we took them some food from the cookout and just loved on them in little meaningful ways. Uh, so God is just really opening up some doors. And I think the biggest thing is for us and that we've seen is that if we're willing to go outside of our comfort zone and as David our pastor says basically defy the box like just to look for ways that are revolutionary to reach people and a revolutionary doesn't necessarily mean taking somebody donuts that seems pretty simple but it's our willingness to say okay God we're gonna go and we're gonna love on this person in this way and I think that's revolutionary honestly uh, I don't think people are willing to do that a lot of times because of the fear. So I just want to encourage you all, if you watch this video, go love on somebody next to you, take them a donut, take them a cup of coffee, just something little tangible way that they can be loved on and that they can know that you're there for them, that you're praying for them and that you want to see them uh, just grow in their relationship with Jesus or come to a relationship in Jesus. So that's what I want to encourage you to do. Uh, God has really been working on my heart in that. He's been working on my heart in a lot of other ways. I've been reading 1 Corinthians uh, for a little while now, and God has just begun to kind of help me understand, like, our wisdom is not comparable to His, and He moves in ways that I can't imagine. And He chooses who He chooses to use, and He shames our knowledge with His wisdom, and it, it's just, it's been, revel it's been awesome for me to kind of see that and to hear that and uh, hear the Holy Spirit speak to me in that way and help me to understand, like, my training everything that i'm doing right now it doesn't matter because god is going to be the one who sees it through and just really renewing and bringing my heart back to the idea that god's word is what moves the mountains like our faith in god's word and the ability for us to just trust in god's word is what is going to move this thing it's not going to be me it's not going to be the people that i bring in but it's going to be god and his word and his holy spirit and his son so that's what I'm super excited about, just renewing that trust in God's Word. As John chapter 1 says, like Jesus says that He is the way, He is the Word, He is the light, He is everything. He was there at the beginning. And uh, just to see Him penetrate hearts and like His crucifixion what was is what changed everything. His offering us salvation through His blood, like that's, that's what changed everything. And for Him to say that He is the Word, it just... It blows my mind, and it kind of brings me back to an idea that God is going to move, that it's not up to me to be the one propitiating things, to be the one moving things, to be the one shifting and working and doing all those things. It's going to be God and us faithfully preaching His Word, us faithfully loving people with His Word. So that small tangent in there, uh, y'all know me, I can preach all day, but that's just in there for you guys. I hope that encourages you. I know it's really encouraging to me. So if y'all be praying for us that God just continues to open up doors here and that we are just continue to rely on Him, that would be awesome. Uh, we are having some trouble with uh, financial support. We uh, have not gotten to the place where we need to be. We know God's going to provide. So if y'all be praying for that and praying for churches to build partnerships with us, for people to build partnerships with us, we would really appreciate that. Uh, if you'd be praying for Sarah and I as we continue to uh, like find... The people that need to be in our small group, uh, we started a small group on Tuesday night, and it's a young adult small group, and it's something that we really feel the Lord telling us to do, uh, to reach college students and things like that. So we've had a ton of people like show interest, and we've had people show up, and it's our first one was Tuesday, and it was just a great night. So if you'll just be praying for Sarah and I to continue to build relationships with people to bring them in, uh, to be able to show them like the power of Christ and the power of the Word and just to love on them, that would be awesome. Because we're super excited for it. Uh, we're super excited for the community that it's going to build. 
And if you'll just be praying for uh, our church impact community in Duncan as they continue to uh, just plan out their path, as they continue to seek what they're going to do and seek the Lord's will on everything, as they seek to send churches out, as they seek to uh, love the love their congregation and love our congregation. Um, so if you'd just be praying for them also, that would be awesome. If you'd be praying for Ellie as she continues to grow and as she continues to uh, just blow our minds every day. She's four months today, so she's doing great, just so you all know. She's happy. She's healthy. She's uh, trying to do all kinds of new stuff. So it's a really blessing to us to watch her grow and to just be her parents and to get to love her. So just be praying for her as she continues to grow and develop. And be praying for Sarah as she kind of continues to learn what being a church planner's wife is and uh, working and all those things as she continues to just to find her roots here in South Carolina. That would be great. Uh, if y'all would, uh, some people have asked us, like, how can we bless you? How can we love on you? A big way that you could love on us is uh, through prayer, first of all, and always, obviously. But if you like, hey, I want to bless them with something, something that would really bless us is just uh, gift cards to coffee, uh, Starbucks, whatever the case may be, because we can hand those out as we continue to build relationships with people and as we continue to talk to people. So if you're like, hey, I want to bless them today, that would be amazing. If you're like, hey, that is not really a blessing for you, but a blessing for someone else, then we'll use a coffee gift card also, and you can write on there like, hey, this is for you guys to go on a date night or you guys to just grab a cup of coffee. So please write that on there if that is your intention and blessing uh so we just want to thank you guys so much again for praying for us uh thank you churches who are supporting us thank you people who are supporting us prayfully financially and all of those things uh thank you guys for loving on us as we continue this journey uh, just be praying for impact spartanburg as we launch out there and as we continue to reach people and as we continue to build relationships and just see god move in a mighty mighty way so I'm just thankful, thankful for y'all, I'm thankful for God, and thank you for his son, and I'm just really excited to see how God has ahead of us. So thank you guys for listening to me ramble on for 12 minutes now, so I'll try to make these shorter in the future, but hey, I feel like the Lord's got something to say, and I like to be his instrument, so thank you guys so much, have an awesome weekend, excited to hear some stories from y'all about how the Lord is blessing you, so feel free to send me an email, shoot me a text, and just let me know how God is working in your lives as he continues to work in ours.